guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. In today's video, we're just going to be doing a casual, productive day in my life vlog. It's going to be a bonus video, so I'm just gonna kind of keep it chill and it'll go up on Saturday. Today is actually Tuesday. August 11th and it's 10.05 a.m. right now and I thought I would film this video because I have quite a few things that I need to do and it's a little bit not abnormal it's not <laughs> that sounds like bad it's not abnormal like in a bad way it's just I have a lot of things that I haven't shown you guys yet and I thought that I would do that in today's vlog I think some of you guys would be surprised by the fact that I do this and <laughs> Thought it would be interesting to vlog. Anywho, before we get into the video, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy and I make self-care and lifestyle videos here on YouTube and if that sounds like your thing, please go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well to see my day-to-day. -day. I post a lot of stories on there things that you don't necessarily see here on YouTube. So I would love it if you go check me out over on Instagram. And I have a pretty exciting giveaway for you guys in this video. And I'm really excited because <laughs> I've been using these so, so much. I believe this is a very small company right now and I always really appreciate when small businesses want to partner up with small influencers. They were super kind to hold a giveaway for you guys and I'm so excited to show you what it is. Obviously, they're not sponsoring this video and they're not paying me to say anything. I thought this was so, so cool and so adorable that I had to show it to you guys and and let one of you guys win one as well. It is from the company called Pet Party and they are so freaking cute. They make customized socks and customized masks and I think they do a couple of other things. They were so generous to allow me to give away one mask that is customizable. You can put anything on them and what I did <laughs> was obviously put romper's face on these masks and my socks by the way but the socks are somewhere else so i'll show it to you guys later in the video but aren't these the cutest thing you have ever seen in your life like i've already worn this out and i've gotten so many compliments on them these ones are my favorite actually it has this really cute lemon print on the background and then romper's face all over this mask isn't it adorable oh my gosh and they're super comfortable so i've already worn this out before and they just look like this they like lay really well yeah so they sent me these two masks I was able to customize it by sending them a picture of Romper that I really loved and it was obviously this picture because he looks so freaking happy. If you do win this giveaway, you are able to pick whatever picture you want. It doesn't have to be your dog, it could literally be a picture of anything. Like it could be your face, your boyfriend's face, your baby's face. I don't know, it doesn't matter. You just pick anything and honestly it's the most cutest thing ever. It'd also be a really great gift for someone. So if you want to snag a picture from their Instagram or something of their pet and send it and they'll be able to make it for you and then they'll ship it to you. If you want to enter this giveaway, make sure to like this video. That's the first step. The second rule is to comment a dog emoji on this video and then you can write whatever you want to say on the comment. Since I'm gonna need a way to contact you, make sure to leave in the comments after the dog emoji your Instagram handle so I can direct message you on there and check your messages if you don't follow me because it's going to go to like the message request section and I always miss that. So I don't want that to happen to you because if you don't answer in 24 hours, I'll just pick another winner. So make sure to check your Instagram DMs. And the third is an optional rule. You can follow me if you want to on my Instagram. It's ever.so.cozy and I'll insert like a photo here so you guys can check it out if you guys want to. It's pretty simple. That's all you have to do to enter and I will pick a winner. Maybe I'll give it like a week or 10 days. I still don't get like that many comments on my YouTube 
videos, so I'm um, just... I think if you do comment, you have a very high chance of winning. <laughs> so might as well, right? It's free and it doesn't hurt to give it a try. I can't wait to wear this one out. This is my favorite, obviously, because it's it matches my whole yellow theme going around. This is such a funny sweatshirt too. It has a like a woman figure on here. I think this is supposed to symbolize women empowerment or feminism, but the more I look at it, it just looks like a bathroom symbol for women. <laughs> I think I'm going to wash up and get ready for the day because that kind of jump starts my day for me. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to work out which is unfortunate. I did work out yesterday on my soul cycle bike, so I think I'm okay for today unless I'll be able to work out tonight and do like a bar class or something. But I'm going to be so busy today, not going to lie. I I don't think I'll be able to squeeze a workout in. We'll see. I will reevaluate later. I already had my cup of coffee today. I feel like today is one of those days where I'm going to need at least two cups of coffee so i will make another cup later today in the afternoon i'm gonna head to the bathroom and wash up and get ready for the day and then i'll be right back why am i so afraid just to say a hello Pick up the phone just to say what is up It's been a long time and I've been thinking Okay, I got some packages from Amazon because I ordered some stuff for my makeup kit I do freelance uh, wedding makeup, so I was running out of some lip liners and I wanted to add some to my collection So I got the NYX lip pencils I had a client who came in with her own NYX pencils and I actually really liked them so I wanted to give some of these a try. I got the NYX lip pencil, I think it's the slim one in coffee because I needed a warmer brown nude color. It's just a really tiny, tiny slim lip pencil. Oh, it's not as brown as I thought it was going to be. It's like more of a mauve-y mauve tone I, mean, I still like it okay okay I got another one oh, I hate these packaging I got another NYX pencil this is the suede matte version the color is in nude suede shoes so I was obsessed with this color when a client brought this one in so I wanted to get it for my kit myself. Slightly bigger than the slim pencils. This one is such a pretty like light nude color. It's the one at the top. This one is such a good bridal color and I love the formula of these. They're so nice and smooth and glides on really nicely. I heard that these don't last as long, but I didn't want to buy like $30 lip pencils right now. So those two are what I got for my makeup kit. And I'm going to add some more. I think I have like a red coming in from NYX as well and some other colors. Just wanted to show you guys those. Rumper is trying to play and he's shitting everywhere. It's 
so I'm here sitting down finally at <laughs> Romper. What are you doing? He was staring into the reflection in the mirror of himself and was barking. Sorry if you guys hear some background noise. Uh, Charlie was cooking and stuff, so. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about what I'm doing. I never shared this on my YouTube channel before and this is the first time I'm kind of showing you guys the behind the scenes of it all. But I have an Etsy shop I created about a year ago, almost a year ago now. And it's just been kind of my side hobby, just like my YouTube here, but I started uh, Romper the Cav, which is the shop name on Etsy, and I sell dog bandanas. And I started doing this because I was so bored and just really needed to get some creativity out and an outlet for that was an Etsy shop. And I wanted to do something that I can make from scratch and something that was pretty simple but would still make me feel creative and happy. And I Learn how to make dog bandanas by myself. I watched a ton of YouTube videos and learned how to sew and market and all of that stuff. And I just did it for fun. And now I get orders here and there. So I like to do this as kind of a side hobby. It's not really anything that I rely on in terms of income wise, but it's just something it's I mean, it's just for fun. And I'm going to attach this cute little label that I got custom made from another Etsy shop. And I buy all of these fabrics myself through a website. And this one is a really cute one. And it's super popular. It's the macaron print and someone ordered it as a gift for someone else so i'm really excited to send this off and i have this label tag that i can attach and i hand sew every tag myself and you can see here and i do all of the packaging marketing i pretty much just run the whole small business by myself and it's been really fun and such a rewarding experience i mean i highly recommend it if you know how to make something to sell on etsy because it is honestly a really good experience i think everyone could benefit from it if you know how to make something. I love doing this because I can connect with other dog lovers and cat lovers. Some uh, cat owners do get their cat's bandanas, <laughs> as surprising as it is. It's super cute when I get pictures sent to me on my Instagram. I also have an Instagram page for my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. It doesn't have a lot of followers or anything because obviously it's a dog bandana shop. <laughs> I you know, don't market on there as much as I should, but right now I'm happy with where it is at. So I just wanted to let you guys in on this little quote unquote secret of mine. I really enjoy doing it. So I just sew it like this. I package it up and yeah. If you guys have pets yourselves and are curious about getting yourself a bandana for your pet, I will leave a link below if you guys are interested. Uh, but these are all handmade with love. At first it was really hard because I honestly didn't have any clue how to sew or anything. I don't have a background in sewing. I never even took home ec in middle school or high school when whenever that's offered at school i never took those classes i only knew kind of how to knit and like hand sew things because my mom is a really really talented sewer she used to actually make clothing i think that's kind of where i get my dexterous fingers from <laughs> i'm very like good at detail oriented things i also do like freelance makeup so makeup is very hands-on and i just like creating things so this was definitely a really fun project that i was able to kind of adopt and learn all right so what i do is i have the bandana here and i custom made a little tag that has our logo on it with romper's face 
It's so cute. And then I go ahead and have this little thread and I attach it to the bandana, write the size that they ordered. And then I take a safety pin to attach that tag to the bandana. And I basically just attach it to the middle of the bandana like this. And I wrap it in white tissue paper. Before I package it, I actually have a business card too, and it's super cute. I custom designed these and, well, I picked the template. <laughs> I add that on here and I just kind of wrap this as pretty and neat as I can. To close all of that, I also custom made stickers to put on the packaging. So this one specifically is a lilac purple color and it says enjoy love, romper the cab on it and it's super cute. So I go ahead and wrap it like that and that's what it looks like. And then I insert that in a very cute teal colored mailer. So it's kind of fun when you get it in the mail. I just insert the invoice into the mailer and just close it and that's it. So at least I have that checked off my to-do list and then just have to the, get this to USPS. And now I think I'm going to focus on completing my case study for my UX UI bootcamp stuff online. And that's gonna take me a really long time and I have to get it done by 7.30 tonight, which gives me around six hours. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done so I can get, get it out of the way. So that's where we are at right now. Okay guys, so this is going to be the end of the vlog today. I wanted to film more, but honestly, I was stuck all day doing my case study and I finished it by 7.30, which I was very, very proud of. But there was no content to film because I was literally just staring into my computer all day. And then I started editing this video, so it is what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I literally just pulled off my false lashes because it was kind of falling off anyway. I'm about to wash up and just chill and Charlie and I are going to just drink some tea in bed and watch Selling Sunset because that is our show right now and season two just came out. We finished episode one in the second season. I think that's all we watched and now we're on the second episode so Super excited to just chill and relax while watching really stupid reality TV show. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this productive vlog with me. If you want to help me grow my channel, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay classy and stay cozy and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye.